we at? Where we at? It's going straight. Three ninety seven. Okay, so we just had to make a protein run real quick. Um, before I get to this gym, because that's where I'm on my way to, um, I just wanted to talk to you guys about what I'm going to do on this diet. Um, for the past week, I've been eating 2,800 calories trying to figure out my maintenance calories. And I was in the ballpark. Um, I didn't lose any weight. I didn't gain any weight at the beginning about a week ago, I measured myself on this. I weighed myself, measured. I weighed myself on the scale, and it was around like two twelve and a half, and that was with clothes on. So um, I said two, even though I said two ten in the video, I just, you know, I, I probably overestimated the amount of clothes that I had on. But um, today I weighed myself with just in my underwear, um, with some socks on, and it said two twelve. So we're gonna go with that. Um, 2,800 calories are my maintenance calories. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to do these diets that um, everybody just subtract 500 calories. I'm I'm a, I'm gonna take it slow. Um, I'm trying to maintain as much muscle as I possibly can, and I'm trying to lose at least um, a half a pound, no more than a pound a week. Um, so we're just going to take this thing nice and slow, and we're just going to see where we end up. Um, I want to end at around 10% body fat. Um, right now, I would estimate myself to be somewhere between maybe like 17% body fat, 16, 17% body fat. Um, so that would mean I would have to lose 7% of my body fat to get to uh, 10. Um, I, I calculated the numbers. I'm not sure, but it's always good just to have a ballpark ballpark figures to where you can just you know even though they may not be accurate because the most accurate way to measure your body fat is a DEXA scan um, and I, but I'm not going to do all that you know maybe uh, one day I might uh, you know just make a video on you know DEXA scans and just a process that goes into doing one but uh, you know no time soon but um, we're just going to use those numbers I'll actually weigh my I'll actually when I get home from the gym, even though it might not be an accurate measurement of my body fat percentage, but when I get home from the gym, I'll measure myself uh, using some calipers that I have, and then tomorrow morning, I'll measure myself again using those same calipers just so I can see just the differences in measurements. All right, so that's what we're doing. My goal weight probably is to lose maybe around somewhere around... 15 pounds end up at like 197, 195, 195 pounds, 197 pounds, somewhere around there. I should be around some 10%. But uh, we'll just see how it goes. We'll just see how I look. Um, I'll let the mirror decide when I stop my, my diet. Um, but you guys are going to rock with me. Um, I'm anxious to see what all this hard work has resulted in. So, I'm excited, man. I hope you guys are excited. So, let's get this show on the road. The next time you see me, we're going to be in the gym. Peace. Now let the drums drop. Didn't I tell you we was going to make it to the top, nigga? Didn't I? Didn't I? Didn't I? Didn't I? Shout out to Weezer. sir. Who can you count on these days in 2017? I don't dance now. I make money moves. Hey. Say, I don't gotta dance. I make money moves. If I see Get the bag and flip it and tumble it. Straight out the lot. 300 cash. And the car came with a blood in it. Look, mama, a dot. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Okay, so we back. Oh, we back. We back. We back. Hey. Now, this is 3.30. I've been doing 3.30 for a couple of workouts now. So you're going to see in the next clip, when I start to plateau or feel like I'm plateauing, I'll just throw in a little bit of volume. And this is what you see in this clip right here. Just a little bit of volume, 275, pausing it, 
um, slight pause. For, I believe I did nine reps. Um, I thought I did ten, but again, you know, this is YouTube. When you think you did ten reps, you really did nine. <laughs> that's that's just how it goes. But um, let's talk about a little bit about the diet. So on the diet, um, I'm bumping my calories down to 2550, and this week I'm going to do one cardio session at around maybe 20 to 25 minutes, and from that point on, I won't touch any of my calories. It's just going to be strictly doing more, becoming more active, doing more cardio. Um, I don't mind doing cardio, but I do mind losing food or losing calories because, I mean, I'm, I'm not one of those people that like to eat or um, I have to eat all the time, but the way that I work out, my workouts demand a lot of, a lot of calories. So I need to keep as much food on my plate as possible so instead of taking calories away I'm just going to be throwing in sessions of cardio and that's how I'm going to do my diet and then we're just going to see how it goes from there um, this next clip is going to be a new exercise that I added in the pin lay rolls um, I've started doing these and these feel pretty good uh, one thing I can say about these though is that you really have to um, stabilize your core to the point to where like you really have to press out against that belt um, and do the Valsalva maneuver to the point to where it's like you you have to feel like you're gonna pee on yourself that's you you really know you have stabilized your core correctly when a little bit of pee come out I'm just I'm just we're gonna be we can be real we're gonna be serious we're gonna be real um, but that feels like a good movement um, Hopefully I can progress on that. Um, it's just small changes to my uh, my um, my training. You know that's what keeps it exciting. And this clip, the squatting, uh, the squatting. I'm I'm finding my groove in the squat. That's what I mean by finding your groove. I'm, I'm finding out what works for me. And hopefully I'll be able to hit that 405 for a set of five before the end of the year. I'm gonna have a couple of more months to go. And I mean, I think I'm on my way. I'm excited about it. And uh, we're just going to see how everything ends on this diet. Because my whole thing is to, I want to get stronger on this diet. That's why we're going to take things slow. Um, I could take things fast, but it's like, what's the point? I don't, I'm not doing a competition. Uh, I'm not a bodybuilder. I'm not a power lifter. I don't have a meet to get ready for. So we're just going to take it slow, take it nice and easy, and just let um, you know, nature take its course. Uh, here we have some deadlifts. I've been working up slowly with these. Um, I haven't done these in a while, but uh, the couple of clips you've seen me, or a couple of workouts you've seen me start to implement these back into my workout. Um, I used to do them a lot. I used to do them every workout. But now, if I can do it every workout, I will. Um, if I like today's this workout, I didn't have to go to work this day, so I was able to fit in a lot more stuff than I usually can on a day that I have to work. Okay, so man, if y'all have any questions, let me know in the comment section. Thank you for watching my videos. Subscribe, like, comment, share my videos, and stay tuned for more of these videos. Peace.